Hello, I just wanted to do a quick review of the project this week. It's illustration. Remember, there's always two assignments to do. This is the second assignment where you've already come up with your ideas, basic sketches, and you've already developed some kind of plan for what you would like to do for the concept of what illustration is, which is basically making up uh, visual uh, images related to what's happening in a story or it helps to illustrate or to show what uh, text is about. So I'm going to go over this now. Illustration is due in a week. It is a way that I want you uh, for this assignment to organize your uh, images and words and to create your image. And it can be of a story, of a text, of a lyric or a quote, something that you've already decided that you really like. So I found a quote from my example and I decided to use the words in the artwork and that's part of what this project is. It's about what words we can find or maybe make a quote from a, a TV series that you like or something like that. And then you can use that into your artwork. You can actually put that into your artwork. And then you're going to draw and paint and make images that that show what it's talking about in the artwork. We're going to be using a mixed media type of techniques, which is a collaging type of technique. Some people said they would like to do collage work. Collaging is a, a way to combine different types of materials into to, and mixing them together, kind of like a layering process, and putting them into your artwork. So if, for example, the example that I have here is uh, my illustration, where I have my words as part of the images in my, my overall image. I have entirely filled up the entire thing. I used some paint originally on the edges in the background, and then I also used pencil, and then I also used color pencil, and then I also used uh, a Sharpie a marker, and then I also used a piece of magazine because I thought I would like to have a little bit darker edges on my clouds. So I ended up finding some of that and cutting, uh, tearing out pieces of the colors that I would like to use in the magazine and put that, glue that onto my paper as well. This will help create more of an interest when somebody looks at it. Oh, look, it looks more interesting to me because there's different type of things being used, different types of materials being used in my artwork. So that's part of this process that I would like you to try on your 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 illustration that you create. Uh, there's a video here that shows you different simple ways to create uh, uh, different techniques of creating mixed media, of using different type of things you can find around the house, uh, whether it's painting or it's um, gluing, cutting, tearing, and pasting on top. Find finding something you can you just find around the house, for example, like a rag or a paper towel could be a good example of what you could use that would not be necessarily thought of as an art project, an art tool. So there are some examples of what you could do for this project. Um, I just want to make sure you have at least three different types of materials. So I showed you a lot of different examples that I have in my, uh, in mine. I have the words, which are the quotes. I have the words in the artwork, and that's what the part of this project is. I'm looking for the words as well as the images that help to illustrate what the images are. So this 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 quote is time. It says time is a storm in which we are all lost. So I put the words as part of the images, which relates to storm as well as question lost. Lost I represented lost as a question marks, and then also storm. The question marks also relate to me as a being part of raindrops underneath the clouds. And then I have time represented here as if it was a moon, but it's actually a time analog clock. So that's how I'm illustrating the words that are being put in here. That's how I'm showing it. And then I have the name of the person who said that originally. So this is a really, uh, really what I'm looking for for you to do in your project too. The other option you have is to do a digital version. And so I show you a video that has a basic idea of how to do a collage using Google Slides, for example. And then I created my own, but I would like you to do a little bit more layering and a little bit more process of, of finding images for whatever words you have. You find it words, so for example, a simple song like this, I found uh, when I highlight the words that I actually use images into my artwork. So it shows, okay, I have a snowman, yes. And I have a corn cob pipe, yes, or a button nose, yes. I have two eyes made of coal, for example. So I illustrated that by having that in here, but then I also create the overall complete image by filling the whole page. There's a lot of other examples in here, so please take a look at these and um, become inspired and have fun. Enjoy.